This is a follow-up to the um, previous video I did where you make a generator out of a transformer. <clears throat> I'm going to try and improve the, uh, the design somewhat. Here's my primary coil now, but this time I've split it into two. I've pulled it, I've pulled it stretched it. There's a gap in the middle. It's still connected to the, uh, the DC supply here. Okay. Now if you do that, the flux Here's my flux. It's going to look something like this. Again, it's pretty rudimentary. But there's my flux, and it's going round the magnetic circuit. There it is, uh, like that. And it's going through the iron core. Okay, all very nice. And the flux stays exactly the same. It will do throughout the entire experiment. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a coil, a secondary coil, in the middle and you can see it is linked. It is now linked to the flux. But if I spin the coil to there, there is no flux linkage. So here we're going to get whoops, as you change the flux, as far as the secondary core is concerned, we're going to get maximum induced EMF, and then we're going to have minimum, and then we go around here, and it's going to change direction, and we've got ourselves a nice generator. Okay? How can we improve that? Well, you can see the space here for more than one coil. So if I improve the design somewhat, what I can do now is I have not one coil, but let's say three. There we go. So I've got the flux going round. There's my flux. But this time, instead of one flux from one coil, I've got another flux here and a third flux there. So now I can do not one induced EMF but three. If I spin my coil inside, here it goes, I get an EMF induced here, an EMF induced here, and so on, as I spin the coil all the way around. The EMFs will be slightly out of sync. There's a picture. It's as if you're spinning a magnet between three coils like this and you're getting three different phases. There's one EMF, another one, and there's another one. There's one coil, another coil, and a third coil, and you get, there's your EMFs induced slightly out of phase. Most exam boards don't require you to work out the out of phaseness. This is called a three phase motor. The beauty of this is you can improve the design even further by making the air gaps as small as possible in the design of your generator.